Welcome to Star Wars Action News, helping Star Wars collectors collect better. Now, in this room last night, we held the swap meet. How many of you guys were able to make that? I, I was here, definitely. I sold at the swap meet. <laughs> I was here for a while, and then I actually kind of gave up on it. It was just too, I was too overwhelmed. I, I didn't know, what, I just got overwhelmed and had to, and I left. I couldn't believe the crowd for this. I mean, every time we do it, it seems to get bigger. And I mean, this was the third time, second time in the States. We did do it once in Germany. And the line outside started to form about an hour and a half ahead of time. And we were letting people in, and it was fortunate that we had some help managing the lines because we were able to get the line organized and get everything going for that. But the number of people, we ended up just having to let them in like 50 at a time, but we were able to get everybody in within the first hour. And I didn't feel that the crowds were so overwhelming that you couldn't shop and the people in here, and then we started having people set up in the hallway that had other items. A lot of great items. I only bought a few things. I'd bought some stuff at the room sales before. Uh, I think one of my purchases was uh, one of our friends from Jedi News said, here's a box of cereal only available in the UK, and even Gus doesn't have a sealed box. He only got the flat, and it was $4. I'm like, well, uh, all right, four bucks for a box of cereal. Didn't, didn't that box of cereal lead to something else with Marjorie, if I recall? Uh, uh, it, it did, because I always had a rule, no food collectibles, because I don't want the critters that come with that. We've, in fact, thrown out a lot of boxes of food, like Episode 2 and Episode 3 Mountain Dew boxes and old Pepsi cans from Episode 1 with Amidala on them. Yes, and there was someone here who was selling the Spanish like potato stick wrappers that, or the bags that had Jar Jar on them and where you could do the mail away for the Jar Jar tongue sticky thing. So I bought one of each of those and, and the big giant bag that he had and then he gave me a big giant bag for free too. So somehow my buying brand new cereal led to her buying 16 year old wrappers. <laughs> the floodgates that makes floodgates. sense to me. Yeah. Sure. Well, all food products from here on out are fair game now. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Star Wars Action News with more collecting news and reviews at SWActionNews.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. May the pegs be stocked and the force be with you.